come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest to totally purge the world <laughs> and the universe. Of oh, bad podcasts. Of bad so podcasts. Yeah, there you oh, go. Yeah. Yeah. It's only just us, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, these are the internet radio superstars. Holly. John. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by. Michaela. What did we watch this year? We watch this. We watched The Purge Anarchy. Anarchy. Okay. From what, the year. Yeah, what year? 2014. 2014. So it's 10 years old. Okay. But it takes place, place in, in 2023. 2023. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember this the year? You remember last year how it was just like this? Yeah. Um, directed by James DeMonico. Okay. Do, Do we, we know, know James? He's the Purge guy. So he created ah. The Purge. <laughs> he created he wrote and directed the first three movies okay. and then wrote for the TV show in the fifth movie okay. or, and the fourth and fifth movie, but didn't direct the last two movies. So this okay. is his thing and his idea and his baby. And it came about because apparently him and his family like nearly died from getting hit by a drunk driver. And he said to his wife after that happened, like we should all get one free pass for murder. Like I mean, everyone, and that kind of everyone yeah. has had that hypothetical exactly. And yeah. so he kind he of just baked, took it to yeah. the next level. Yeah. So he wrote a script based on like, well, what if we all had a free pass for murder? You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. yeah and so there's okay. So there's the purge. Uh-huh. There's the purge, which came out okay, in 2013. This is what I was going to ask because yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. I'm I'm I was like, how, wait, how many of them are? Yeah. There? Okay. So we have the purge, the which purge. came out in 2013. Uh-huh. That's the one with Ethan Hawke and Lena Headey, and it was the, like a big Blumhouse like push, right? Like yeah. that was like Blumhouse was, has this original property. That was like a big deal. Yeah, it got it marketed yeah. to death. Yeah, because yeah, the um, idea. I mean, like that was it yeah. out there and then making a movie about right. it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I feel it like took off and yeah, yeah well, it became a their, colloquial the, term, right? Everyone yeah. knew what the purge, the purge was shorthand for. Didn't yeah. Because um, I can't remember what, what year was the first one. Twenty thirteen. Like Twenty thirteen. Mm-hmm. So Blumhouse is first thing was like we're gonna give these filmmakers like a million bucks to Mm -hmm. make a movie so the purge is like you know even though it's like you know the night that america purges it all takes place in a house the first one is but it like it's weird with this franchise because the first one is one of the worst ones it's one of those because the first one that movie it's not good it has no budget because it's all in one house and it's you're basically watching ethan hawk's family and he's like he works for a security company that sells security systems Mm -hmm. for the purge that doesn't come into play in any way interesting at all yeah Yeah. well but blumhouse that was basically what it was like a home invasion movie this one's with a ghost this one's with alien dark skies this one's (laughs) right with you know your neighbors the purge okay yeah, and um, so then the second one we have, which is the one we watched tonight, is the Purge Anarchy, and this mm-hmm. one is the at what it's what you wanted out of the first movie. It's uh, watching people around the city deal deal with the purge differently because that's what yeah. everyone thought they were getting with the the right, first one. Yeah. And no, you're just watching Ethan Hawke watch TV a lot in that movie, right. um, and then board up windows and stuff. It's not a very exciting movie. I wonder if they making the first movie, they were like, we can do this, and we can do this. Yeah, I bet. Like there's a board somewhere, just arrows shooting out, going idea, idea. Honestly, well, the concept lends it. itself really well to an anthology. It, 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 it really like. Like, uh, yeah. just getting bigger yeah. and bigger yeah. and bigger. It mm-hmm. reminds me of um, uh, Cabin in the Woods with the whiteboard. Yes. yes. With, like, all the different scenarios. Yes. I'm like, yes. that's what the Purge universe can do. Right. Yeah. Right. So then we have the third one, which is the Purge election year, which actually, I think, takes place in between the the first movie and this movie. Because Frank, oh, Frank, Frank Grillo is, is in also one. in that one. Okay. Yes. And he's, um, and, and you learn more of his backstory Elizabeth, in that one. What's her name? Is the president? Uh, I haven't seen that one, so I don't know. Okay. From Lost. Elizabeth yeah. um, Blonde. Um, uh, to Becky. It's, no, it's, uh, uh, oh, right. Yep. Yeah, but I, I think I saw that one. I think yeah. that was as far as I went. I, and actually, I thought that maybe... Well, no, I knew there was one more. There, yeah, so yeah, election year came out in 2016, so appropriate came out during an election year. Right. And yeah. then after that is the first purge, which is a prequel that starts off in 2017 yeah. and then brings it up to 2022 when the first purge happens. Okay. okay, that's the one with like the kind of cowboy. No, 
That's, oh shit. Nope, there's more. Oh, okay. okay. Jesus. And then we have the pur- so then we have <laughs> then we have the Purge TV series, which okay. I have not watched. I'm pretty sure is like kind of like an anthology thing. I don't know. I never watched it. How I think it was on FX. Did it run? I think one or two was okay, on FX. Not too many. Yeah. Wait, um, question. Aside from Michaela, how many people were in the room were aware there was a Purge TV show? <laughs> I knew there was. I knew. A- yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we I did. Okay. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> if you watch It's Always Sunny, you see commercials for the okay. Purge TV show because it's on FX. You know. That's exactly. And then. The Cowboy Western one, which is the only other one I've seen. So I've seen the first, second, and the last one. Okay. And the last one is The Forever Purge. The Forever Purge. And that one is like, it's whatever. It's okay. The concept is cool, though, because it's like on the Illinois, or not Illinois, the United States-Mexican border. And there's kind of this, there's all these cowboys out that are in the desert. And they decide that they're not going to stop when the Purge siren ends. They're just going to keep going. So it's The Forever Purge. The Forever Purge. And it's cool imagery because there's cowboys and shit. So it's like a pseudo Western. Uh, Well, I also wonder, is is the the Purge just an American thing? Uh, Yeah. uh, As far as we know. So now we have like refugees. Right. To Mexico, it's, yes, Canada. to get away from the purge. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. There's a lot you can explore with this. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why it seems like wow. so each of these are, like we said, Frank, uh, is it Grillo or Grillo? I always How say Grillo. I always say Grillo. Because he's white, right? So oh, I assume it would be he? the white oh, pronunciation. Yeah. Okay. So here's here's the white. thing with Frank Grillo. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but several years ago when they were doing press for Winter Soldier, the cast of Winter Soldier was on uh, a talk show special with Chelsea Handler where they were all like sitting around a dinner table and having a conversation. It was like the that era in TV where it's like, you know, we're just sitting down like yeah. regular people and having conversation. Right. And Meetings and cars getting coffee vibe. Correctly, yes. Yeah. Between two ferns. Like, yes. That whole, yeah. Gotcha. That whole thing. So Chelsea Handler hosted one and it was the 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 cast of Winter Soldier and Frank Grillo said some shit. Did he really? Oh, I don't he remember He said this. some shit. He is possibly and most likely very racist and misogynist. Oh, yeah. That, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. It was this whole... So, it, this they were point. talking about, like, privilege in Hollywood, mm. and he straight up was like, people of color don't necessarily have it as bad as they say they do. Mm. I'm an Italian-American, and Italian-Americans have it just as bad. And I'm Classic. like... Classic. <laughs> and Chris, Chris Evans is like, well... well yeah. <laughs> like, let's let's all distance down. ourselves from this. <laughs> yeah. like, no, I don't know if that's quite yeah. true. And uh, and again, he yeah. went on to like say that like men have it just as bad, too. Yeah, and yeah. It was just not good. Oh, yeah. yeah. What year was good. that? This was... Uh, Chelsea Handler was still on the air, so... Yeah. Uh, I pandemic I'm, right? I'm curious, because, yeah. yeah. you know... Frank Grillo is in the movie. I've always kind of, I guess, I first saw him in The Gray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I mean, he made an impression. Mm-hmm. And it was like, this guy's probably going to be like an action movie kind of guy. Yeah. And then they cast him in uh, Captain America in the, in yeah. the MCU's mm-hmm. Crossbones. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then he was like the lead in The Purge. Yeah. And he went to D.C., he left Marvel. And yeah, he was like Marvel didn't respect me and went mm-hmm. to DC. I don't know what like character. That, uh, I don't what, know what character he played. Yeah, okay. doesn't he have some upcoming That's, thing they're working on? I think? Yeah, I it's in, like in the future or something. So I guess I haven't seen because it seems like Frank Grillo is the guy who's in these like direct to video. Like, yes, he would I, be I in canon it, movies if canon industry, movies were yeah. still yeah. Yeah. Yes. direct to video yeah. stuff. But like you know, werewolves. Anyone? Or, is that the new one that's yeah, coming out? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm yeah. going to have to this watch like it. Practical Werewolves or yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh shit, I'll watch it. Skyline. <laughs> yeah. Hard Matter. Yeah. I Here's the thing, Wheel Colin. Man. It was all right. But I guess I, it yeah, I remember like... you talking about Wheel Man <laughs> yeah, when it came it out. Right. Yeah. But I guess it seemed like he never really, uh, you know, became, like, maybe because either, you know. Uh, I think <laughs> I know why. <laughs> I, I, oh, I'd have another hypothesis. John Bernthal took all the parts. I was just going to say. I was just going to say. All his roles. I was going to say, you know that meme that's like, uh, Mom, can we have McDonald's? No, we have McDonald's at home. It's like, Mom, can we have John Bernthal? No, we have John Bernthal at home, and it's Frank Grillo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm glad John Bernthal got all the shit that uh, Frank Rio. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's it because they've yeah. both been on like podcasts and stuff and John Bernthal is just a really good but guy. I bet you He's if you a really if, nice guy. I bet if you held up some movies John Bernthal was in though and asked it which one was in them, I'd have a real hard time guessing <laughs> some of them. I'd be like, Whoa, like uh, the baby driver was that John Bernthal or yeah. was that Frank Grillo for two seconds in yeah, the elevator yeah, sure, you know sure. like, well, it's like John Bernthal it's yeah. like uh, Tom Hiddleston said in an interview once he's like all my scripts have Michael Fassbender's prints on them yeah exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 well I guess he kind of he does kind of come off uh, all the stuff that I've ever seen Frank Grillo in he comes off as like there's one thing that he does yeah you know he's a cop. yeah it doesn't feel like there's <laughs> like we, we said the first scene that he's in in this movie it's it's we see Frank Grillo sitting on the edge of a bed in a very sparsely decorated 
uh, apartment loading a gun. I'm like, that's how. Ninety eight percent of the movies like he's in Bolo vest and everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, guaranteed. He's yeah. the yeah. burned out. You know, end of his rope, man, yeah. yeah, who is called into action one He's last time. He's the action guy. Like, yeah. it's, it's what we've been seeing for decades. Yeah, but yeah. In, in, in decades bullets. past, yeah. I guess it seemed like they had more um, charm or personality, or could at least can Frank Grillo do comedy? Has he been in comedies? I don't know. I don't I think, think so. Said, None of them sound like comedies. I'll tell you what, Colin, you didn't tell us he's on Tulsa King. Is he? Yeah, he's on eight episodes of Tulsa King. You watch that? I yeah. watched the first season. I don't know. If Colin I'm... told us we should watch it. I'm curious. Hmm. The commercials uh, okay. charm well, me a little bit. I don't even remember him being in it unless he's in the second season. It so. might be. Yeah. Did you think it was Johnny Bernthal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, John I Bernthal. Like, I love John yeah. Bernthal. Which one's the Punisher? Is yeah. that Frank? Yeah. Like, that would be the greatest thing to find out right now is that Colin has blindness with John Bernthal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, Look, I have my poster of John yes. Bernthal up. It's Frank Rios. Like, Colin, what are you talking about? <laughs> that would be great. And wouldn't be that surprising. sounds like it would be a. Uh, like, I, love, always, I love Frank Grillo on The Walking Dead. That was, <laughs> that was great. No, that was, sounds like it would be a, an always sunny like subplot. Or yes, just, like, Charlie it Day would. Always it would. Yes. That's true. Yeah. That's so true. So I, d- um, I, I doubt uh, Hounds of War is a comedy. I doubt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm guessing MR9 Do or Die is not a comedy because <laughs> yeah. it's named after a gun. Yeah. <laughs> One Day as a Lion, maybe a comedy. Oh, The Resurrection of Charles Manson, definitely a comedy. <laughs> definitely. And there's so many more. Oh, yeah. that's funny. I mean, as an action personality, I guess he acquits himself okay, but it's yeah. like okay, but he doesn't a- seem to have like a. He's in a movie called uh, that just came out last year called King of Killers. Uh, and oh, no. his character's name is Jorg Drakos. Jorg. Jorg. Or is it Jorg? <laughs> There you Jorg, go. Jorg Drakos. Jorg Drakos. Jorg Drakos. Jorg Drakos. So the, oh, the DC Universe will breathe <laughs> new life into his career. Uh, so, uh, I, don't, I don't need it. One know. thing, actually, before we... I think we, I've seen the best of it right maybe, here. Maybe, yeah. probably. Uh, <laughs> good, one thing before we proceed. So, oh, no. uh, James DeMonico, mm-hmm. the uh, writer, director, and purge man, as you said, mm-hmm. uh, did you know that you did know I his did know. first scre- p- mm-hmm. produced screenplay was... Jack. The Francis Ford Coppola Robin Williams movie. Really, Jack. I love yes. Jack. <laughs> yeah, that was his first screenplay. He was a writer before he yes. became a oh, uh, purge that director. So sad. He so also sad. wrote a movie that has been on my list for the Freak Show for a long time: Skinwalkers from oh, 2005. He yes. did that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh wow. And I the Negotiator mm-hmm. and oh, the, the negotiator. Assault on Precinct 13 mm-hmm. remake. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, he had like a up. history, you know, before becoming mm-hmm. purge Shit. guy. And now all he does. And now he's probably so rich guy. off of being purge guy. Can I'm you sure. Oh sure. I mean, because the thing caught on in popular culture like wildfire. My my niece and her friend were characters for Halloween this yeah. year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You know With what I was... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I was missing was never... that from this oh, yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. The, How old are the they? LED light She's mask. 10. So younger than the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, they That's also funny. like the Halloween Horror Nights has like a purge section of mm-hmm. the haunted houses and stuff. Yeah. So like, yeah, it is its own little cultural moment. Yeah. Yeah. It also lends itself to like creating masks and, mm-hmm. and stuff, you know, uh, stuff to look at and everything. Right. You can get creative in different aspects because we get a lot of it in this mm-hmm. one. We got in the first one. I'm sure we Ryan get it in Murphy the does one. his own version of the purge on Ryan American Murphy's done a version of everything at yeah. this point. I'm sure he's ripped I'm this sure, off yeah, just I like he has everything else. I stopped watching it ages ago, so I don't know. but Yeah. Well, I was trying to think, like, uh, while we were watching this movie, I'm like, is this, like, uh, the more modern, like, take on, like, you know, themes from, like, Escape from New York or something like that? It's like... That plus the most dangerous game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's all got to make it yeah. through the... I guess that's the, the, the expansion of the canvas, right? Mm-hmm. From the first one, which is a home invasion movie. Yeah. So everyone can relate, right? Mm-hmm. To, like, you want to stay safe in your house. And this one is the odyssey movie right you have to make it through uh the dangerous territory and get yeah to the other this side. is the 16 blocks like we yeah. get from here to Judgment here and night. try and mm-hmm. fucking live you know yeah yeah um okay so the i guess the thing that they're doing then to expand the storyline is um they're going to have multiple characters multiple storylines that are all going to intersect right uh so who are our characters and our individual wait we got like four or three we got Storyline two. Four. We got two sets of two. Yeah. So we've got a mother and daughter, Eva, and I don't remember what the daughter's Callie. name is. Callie. And Eva's a waitress, and they're clearly like poor and probably live in like a rougher neighborhood of LA. Yeah. And like this, this movie is not subtle about its <laughs> themes. So you just know like they're going to run into shit because they're poor. And then right. this other couple, don't remember either of their names, Shane. Shane 
don't remember her don't name. Remember her name. It's, it's yeah, but we recognized uh, it's Zach Guilford. Yes, um, he's a Flanagan from, regular. Right, yeah. Midnight Mass and mm-hmm. uh, the Midnight Club. Yep. And, uh, and Kylie, ha- Fall of House of Usher. House of, okay. Yeah. And yep. Kylie yeah. Sanchez from mm-hmm. Lost and uh, Perfect Getaway. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen Perfect, oh, yes. one in Perfect Getaway. That's yeah, been yeah, on my yeah. freak show list for Perfect. a while. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a good movie. Yeah. Like a perfect game. Um, really so they're the, the other couple. Mm-hmm. And their deal yeah. is like um, they're on the edge of a breakup. Mm-hmm. Right. And they're driving around in downtown LA. Not the time to have your couple fight. Shelva for another day. Not, we not, got bigger not, fish to fry. Not the time to just be out. Like yeah. we're all just yelling at the screen during this. It's just like, it's purge day. I wouldn't leave the house. Because right. because like with Eva, she has to work because she needs the Proof, money. Right. And yeah. that they're poor because yeah. they're working on Purge Day. Exactly. Whereas we never really get a good reason why Shane and what's her name are out. Do we, Do they explain at all why they are out of the house at no. all? I got, I got no. one better for you. Uh-huh. Who are they? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Why yeah. do we yeah. fucking yeah. care? Yeah. Like, I don't know what so they just do. Right. Or like blank, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't care. They're just a couple of people couple who are people going are through a marital. Yeah, and that is their, uh, there's not even, well, I guess, is there an arc? It finishes itself, I suppose. It's it's the really one abruptly. thing. Yeah. There's a start and an end, but I think it's a flat line in between. I think so. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess it's, a, you know, with uh, Eva, uh, the mm-hmm. actress's name, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. She's on the Penguin show right mm-hmm. now. But, um, like, her thing with her daughter is and father and, yeah. and their father. Yeah. What was their arc? Sorry. They're, they, well, they're dragged their into, the, they're, they're, they're dragged yeah. into the purge, yes. right? Yes. Um, and then you have Frank Grillo. He's mm-hmm. on his own movie mm-hmm. and he is going to get revenge for somebody who killed his son. Mm-hmm. Now, this <laughs> is not withheld from us. No. Uh, we know this right mm-hmm. off the bat, right. but the because he's brooding next to the only thing in this in this room, as Sean described, this very yeah, bleak, very minimalist sparse. bedroom yeah. is a framed photo of him and his son. Yeah. So yep. it's yep. like, okay, well, well we rack focus on doing it. His wife comes yeah. over yeah. and like, don't go out on purge night. His, his yeah. ex-wife, the most blank-faced actress I've ever seen ever. You ever just good thing she only has one scene. Good because yeah. I'm just like, was this the, the character from earlier? Because yeah. it's just nothing. But I have a question mm-hmm. about Frank Grillo's character. Why is he just not? parked in front of this dude's house if this is what he's going if he to do knows before purge starts why isn't he just yeah, an hour before there, like five o'clock and yeah then, yeah wait for purge to start walk in kill the dude like yeah why is he going like cruising around like batman all yeah. night yeah. looking for especially because he's, he's yeah. coming yeah. from the city right. and yeah. driving out to suburbia right. to actually do this right to go kill in la well, yeah why yeah. not yeah. just be there right right, right. But there's whatever. so many questions well I mean, the one question. Because then you I think, can't run into people, and then yeah. we don't have a yeah, movie. I, right? Because there's so many things that you would do. Why did the cars if, break down? We wouldn't have a movie. Mm-hmm. Well, they would stay inside on, on Purge Day. We're saying, like, yeah. all these people are like, I'm getting off my shift at 5 o'clock, and i got to get home because Purge Night starts in two hours. Mm-hmm. It's like you just, you're staying home the whole day. You know, fortify the. Uh, but I think that's the the point of the movie, though, is that some people can't afford to right, yeah, take right, the yeah. day off. And some, I bet you... There's bosses, that, there's, but there's bosses out there be like, no, you're working purge day. We're staying open. You know, like oh, capitalism is, is the is villain the, here. That's yeah, the whole this point. Is the Black Friday. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, right. So yeah, I mean, uh, you, you work in news. You work in news. You guys don't think you'd be working purge day? Oh, we're purge day. Exactly. Purge day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> you're not staying home on purge day. <laughs> Ooh, the news aspect of the purge. yeah Where's that movie? yeah. Mm, curious. So Jason Blum produced this movie, mm-hmm. As he um, and Michael Bay. Right, both of mm-hmm. them, yeah. I'm sure, you know, like uh, 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 charitable people. They're, so where, where are they like at the uh, mansion? They would be in they, the tallest they, tower. <laughs> yeah. the tower below them. <laughs> They're just like bringing people into Purge. Is that how? Um, yeah. So um, who's the other? Our other character is, um, was that it? That's, That's, the, well, the grandpa or her dad, I guess you got him. Yeah. But like we're talking about the core four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The core four. The core four. The core four. <laughs> yeah. Um, so each one of them stakes their, you know, heads out into purge night. Frank Grillo is out to try and kill this guy. Yeah, he's so Batman he's, slash the Punisher. Yep. yep. Even um, as a duster. His armored car. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a yeah. cool Dodge Charger mm-hmm. with the, you know, he's got, yeah. It's got some Kevlar on yeah. it, but not in mm-hmm. the best places. The right. tires are bulletproof. The windshields mm-hmm. are bulletproof. Unless we know this is because it's d- demonstrated mm-hmm. later in a, in a, in a mm-hmm. scene against a 50 caliber. Yeah, don't forget those armor piercing bullets. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, armor piercing, that's right. Yeah, because yeah, people have prepared for Purge Night. Mm-hmm. So Eva and her daughter are planning to Mostly. stay Mostly. in on Purge Night, you know. Like you, you would. As you would. I think they're a little... I, 
probably agree with your commentary during the scene that they're a little too casual about Everyone's it. Everyone's way too casual. Like, I would be even in if... Full panic. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd be in a closet, like, gnawing on Xanax all night. Like, <laughs> yeah. like helmet holding She's, a baseball yeah, bat. We're, like we're, Ava's just like, well, I'm going to take a shower and then we'll get ready for Purge. No, no. no. And like you they wait till they pull down, down and, and then take thing. your yeah. shower. But yeah. this, I mean, this also lends to the the um, the nonchalantness of living through a few purges at this point. Because even the daughter says this, her boy, it'll be fine, just like last year. It's fine. Like I guess it's like how the it, pandemic we got can place into through, right? right. If you go through it long enough, you get used, you get used to anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And so, cer- well, certain guards, not totally, I, I but just, the certain guards are let down. I just I think there's a bit of a difference between COVID and the purge. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. I agree. And they do No, I would also be in a closet gnawing on Xanax. Yeah. Uh, I agree with this. I'm just saying, I think some people just kind of, it was, it's been fine for nine years. Why would this year be any different? And they go about it that way. I think, uh, well, oh, go ahead, Colin. It's kind of, it's hysterical that the movie kind of presents it as like, you know, everything. I think the whole idea of the purge is like by purging crime in America has gone down uh, because everybody gets out their aggression mm-hmm. on, on purge night. It's not only like, like they get out their aggression, but they also like may uh, go steal money. Yeah. So they're set. So mm-hmm. they're getting the things that they think they need mm-hmm. on this night, whether it's murder or money or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I guess it's like, the, it doesn't take into account like kind of the long term, you know, like, cause I think her uh, coworker says something like, I'm going to come and kidnap you on purge night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So technically legally it would be able for him, illegal for him to go kidnap her mm-hmm. on purge night. Yes. And then I assume he kills her. But if mm-hmm. he doesn't, it's like on, you know, Monday or tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. so we got to go back moment. to work right. again. It's like, well, everything that happened last night was legal. Right. You know, right, and yeah. so there's no like, it, it's right, like, like, I, like if his agenda was just to like sexually assault her, yeah, just yeah. To kidnap yeah. her and rape her, Legal. and then yeah. that's it, yeah, like then they go to work the next day, yeah, yeah. It makes no so it's like this sense. whole society is kind of like, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. I, I don't buy it, no, but <laughs> that's why I think good, it would, Colin, good, I think it would be really funny to make a like horror comedy movie that takes place to, like four hours leading up to purge time so like someone cuts you off in traffic and you're like you watch motherfucker i'm gonna come find you in like an hour and a half and kick your ass <laughs> and it's like but it's just a lead up until like all these frustrating things keep happening but people have to keep it bottled up because they're this close to the Does purge that never happen in a purge i don't, well, you don't think you that seen i haven't seen them all you'd be dead motherfucker <laughs> exactly yeah exactly like <laughs> Be like well, a Seinfeld he, episode, you yeah, know? yeah, right. yeah. Seinfeld before the purge. Yeah, Just exactly. To but I imagine guess we, Larry David getting caught in a traffic jam two hours before oh the purge. God. You know, like uh, the, the entire kind of cast of Seinfeld purge. would die yeah. within like so, five minutes. Like, yeah, one sarcastic comment, boom, like, bullet to the head. Done, so many gone. people would want to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we kind of sort of see because I guess Isn't I was like kind of last episode. I was, see yes, it is. It is the last episode. A bystander getting beat up and they do nothing. And everyone they've wronged started the purge. Yes. Kind of did, kind of did. <laughs> but we kind of get to see that play out, kind of because I was like, kind of iffy on. Well, okay, so purge starts at what is this? Seven, seven o'clock and goes for twelve hours. Yep. Right. So like, you can't do anything until seven, mm-hmm. and then at uh, in the morning, there's sirens that yeah, go off gotta, too. You yeah. Stop. You know, put your guns down. Mm-hmm. If you're hating somebody, you mm-hmm. can't kill them. Then. Um, but before that, as you, as Sean was saying, you know, it's like, why doesn't Frank Grillo go and park outside this guy's house? There is this like roving gang of street uh, toughs mm-hmm. who apparently um, sabotage the married couple's mm-hmm. car. So yeah. it's like you can do that. Pre, like that's, can, I mean, there's no do, cops there to catch you, right? You, you know? can do stuff that nobody would be able to catch you for. Yeah, like them ripping yeah. the wires. So you could out go like, I'm going to get you in two hours. Right. You know, it's like right. I mean, that's basically what right. they're but doing. If you they're making them sure five minutes before the siren went off and you shot them, and right. then you're just like, mm-hmm. you'd be fine. Wouldn't it be like? I remember seeing this movie in theaters and just being like, oh, fuck. The idea of having car trouble during the purge is not something I had thought about. Yeah. And I was no, like, don't leave your house. oh, fuck. No. Don't leave that, house. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, Get but if you're accident. poor and you have to go to work, like you guys have just, to go to I work. Just, I have more. You I know? have just have more questions on like the like the the rules because I know there's yeah. no rules. Right. But there has to be. There, there is some rules. rules. That's the like, thing. What about hospitals? Well, they you said know? all emergency services are suspended for twelve hours. Correct, so. but there are, but there are patients. Yeah, but there are patients who can't leave the hospital. Right, but that like the hospital is still helping the people in the hospital. They're just not taking in anybody that's right. Right, the gates. right yeah. but I'm saying like so someone can go in the hospital and just kill everyone. 
Probably. I think so. Well, that's oh, yeah. what I was that saying. Is, yeah. like rules. So, can so, you, so there, yeah, that can you burn down sense. the entire city? Can you start an incendiary fire yes. and just burn? Because there's use, no like, fire. Molotovs, yeah. yeah, no one's coming to put the fire out. Yes, I mean, exactly. you can right. burn an entire city down with yep. all the people in the buildings. Yep. Although I think they say class four weapons yes. and below are legal mm-hmm. and class Class four is like explosives and, and then, like things like that. And then so. like for all of like the emergency people, like cops, hospital workers, mm-hmm. all that. So do they have like time to go home? So are they? I off think duty so. I like think they're all hour, off duty. Are they off duty to like an hour before leading up? So they all have time to go home. So there's really no yeah. authority within that hour before the purge. It's like pre purge, right, right? Anarchy. Like, yeah. You got to account for the, right. the. It's like how when you go to the movies, when you look at the time, you got to account for the thirty minutes of pre show before you watch yeah. the movie to get the full time. Right, exactly. You got to account for purge buffer time like as well. I, I'm yeah. skipping ahead, but like we're watching the end of this movie, they're like get out of the hospital. I'm like, who's gonna be there? <laughs> they're, they're they're on their way to work. Like, Maybe yeah. they're locked in the hospital. See, James that's, DeMonico, if you're listening. That's why I'm like, there, I have questions. Yeah, this like, is right. the eighth is our hospitals off limits? Right. Like, well, like, that, well, that, <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe there's an understood rule. Yeah. Apparently there's understood rules of the purge. Yeah. Uh, you leave you know, hospitals alone? I would, you leave hospitals alone, which seems like everyone should be like, okay. Mm-hmm. It's a neutral zone kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. 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 The, 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 yeah. The, this has not been explored in a purge movie that I know of. Maybe maybe in one of the other ones. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Some Someone listening to this has seen all the purge movies to hating us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like all these questions are answered. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah. how do we bend the uh, the narrative to get all of these folks uh, to get? Well, we said that uh, the the married couple's car breaks down. They're walking mm-hmm. around downtown in L.A. Yep. as the purge starts. And oh, and shit. they make a note to say everyone comes downtown to purge. Which, Sean, you are L.A. expert. Yes. If you were going to purge in L.A., like does that make, does that make sense? What they said or not really? I don't know. Downtown's not because LA's so sprawled out. Yeah, like I don't know if it's downtown, not a walkable downtown city. Downtown would not. Well, uh, nah, it's, it takes a long time to get to everywhere, yeah. which is why you, especially in LA, you would not be out. Yeah. for the purge, this is the the city of of traffic jams and shit. Like right. you just wouldn't be out. It would, the streets would be uh, done. Mm-hmm. But uh, downtown doesn't seem like the best place to go. To like, you'd have to. Well, if you want to like you'd rob have to pick a bunch a place of stuff, to go. we're thinking about murder. But like, if sure, you're yeah. like, I'm yeah. gonna go steal like the yeah. most expensive stuff. Yeah, if that's where you want to go, downtown, downtown would be a good place for it for the looting and the rioting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. yeah, that'd be a good place for it. But then you take the chances of somebody realizing that the people who are stealing are downtown, and then you become a target for murder. That's when the, the snipers yeah. show up. Yeah, because yeah, they're like, so yeah. it's a whole. It would have been nice if this movie, I mean, it, like, it would change every year. Yeah, the hot right. spots of this city. Depending, <laughs> I'm this, thinking about it. <laughs> if this movie wasn't a Blumhouse movie, had a little bit more budget, it would be nice to cut to like rich people in the Hollywood Hills, up in their houses in the hills, like overlooking right. the city, seeing what they're doing for Purge Day and stuff. Well, the, to, right. the, yeah, the, pur- the first Purge is it like? Mm, well, okay, not he's really. supposed to be Kinda. suburban, but yeah, I mean that's I got the you know security system. Yeah, but Arkansas. I think they're thinking is like we can make a whole movie out of that. Yeah, so yeah. we won't show it right, in this right. movie. We'll make an entire thing about it mm-hmm. if we can later right. on. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Blumhouse, this is the era where Blumhouse is all about let's trim everywhere we can and save budget. This movie only costs like $9 million to make. So. I believe oh, it. Yeah. 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 Then, uh, yeah, then they would not cut yeah. away to the... Yeah. The Hollywood the, Hills, the, yeah. The, the thing with the grandpa is the closest we'll get to yes. cut away with the the family with machetes. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and their Dexter room set up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so the, the grandpa says like I'm gonna take a nap nobody disturb me I'm gonna sleep through purge night which sounds like a great plan to me. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I would take a Benadryl and just hunker down in my bunker and hopefully I knock myself out through yep. all of it you know um, it's and- crazy how much purge night would change your life, not just for the one night, but you have to, like, in deciding where to live. Yeah. Like, just in general, like, yeah. what apartment do you go to? Do you get one that's on a higher floor? Right. The high safety? rises right. seem more valuable right. in a purge. Do you get one somewhere that's farther away from the city because there's less activity? You'd have to study, the, like, hot maps for years of the purge to mm-hmm, see where, mm-hmm. like, big clusters of this shit is going on. Mm-hmm. This would change yeah. Yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right it's, there's a lot of potential in this universe yeah. that's what mm-hmm. makes it interesting yeah, you just yeah. like you don't even uh you could do little shorts for this leading up to um uh, leading up to a release of a movie where it's a couple looking for apartments and you don't realize they're looking for it because like of the they're, right. like they're you know? talking about like the school districts and like the purge districts yeah right. yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> through the storytelling that would totally be like a Zillow filter like what's yeah. its purge score <laughs> yeah like oh this sco- yeah. one's got like a 10 it's a really like bad purge right. neighborhood yeah. and that could be like a little five minute thing in yeah. one of the movies yeah. just like put the purge filter on yeah. it's like yeah. oh no this is rad we should look yeah. for a different apartment yeah. yes shit like that is interesting when it comes right. to this idea right yeah it's i know and that's what's like it feels like they never quite mine the right 
potential out of it. Right. Does that yeah. make sense? Like, yeah. it's they like, don't quite get it. Yeah, they don't really I, again, get what the seen. audience wants from it. And it's, it, it feels like James DeMonico is really putting like a personal take on it that works for him and maybe not so much for everybody else. Right. Well, based on this movie, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. But I, I, I was going to say something. But I, forgot. I lost it. No, it's all good. It'll come back. <laughs> Well, um, sorry, I have perch thoughts. No, mm-hmm. the, we all uh, have perch thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The grandfather uh, sacrifices oh, yeah. himself because there's an economy of the purge. Mm-hmm. Like basically, sure. he's getting paid two hundred fifty thousand. That was a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand to right. be. But he was sacrificed. like, I'm old and I'm dying, and she's saying she has to ask for a raise at the diner because she can't afford his medicine. Don't really know what that is. They're very vague about it. Right. Yeah. Um, Which but, is fine. Yeah. 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 Um, and so he gets like all suited up to go get murdered by like golden machetes yeah. in a Dexter yeah. room that these rich people have. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I would look for, if I was going to sell myself to a family who's going to murder me, mm-hmm. they'd be like, how are you going to do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to hack want, me to right, death? I don't want five people machete? with machetes hacking me to death. Yeah. I, yeah, that's not how I, I want to go no, out. I yeah, to the head. Right. Let's make this. Let's you know, do a firing squad, please. Yeah. Like how we yeah. got like we're combining. When did Hostel come out? Because this is that also feels like before this. Yeah. yeah. It, the idea yeah. that like uh, the rich buy the poor to it, kill. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, right. This is it's like a weird thing that's going mm-hmm. on. Uh, well, well, there's thing, it's like we want to kill been, other the, the, people. That's been a storyline forever. Yeah. The rich buying the poor. Most dangerous game, right? Yeah. Probably the first one. Um. So, Eva and her daughter. Uh, are you know you think of they're gonna go looking for their grandfather, but no, they're forced out of the apartment because uh, Big Daddy mm-hmm. in his <laughs> semi trailer. Big Daddy is uh, some guy, a rich a, old conservative with white a guy, yes. fifty yeah. caliber yep. gun in the back of the thing, yeah. Yeah. and a whole surveillance studio inside the back of the semi that's Funded going around. By the government. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so he can see what's like happening on all these cameras. The of, yeah. 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 Um. So which yeah. Is, which. which <laughs> Which is just not surprising. The more we live our lives, going yeah, I was like, there was nothing twisty about no, it. Like, maybe, we wasn't knew, twisty we, ten years ago we knew when exactly we didn't think anything was. like this was possible. I mean, you and gotta now, we're now. You gotta remember, this came out in the thick of an Obama presidency. So yeah. think back to how different things were yeah. ten True. years ago True. and what yeah. our like general like vibe was like. Right. You know, go watch True. 2017's election year. Yeah. The purge mm-hmm. when we're you know a year into a Trump presidency. Mm-hmm. But there you go. Mm-hmm. Well, does it take I guess the onus off like the people who are actually participating in the purge if it ends up being like well it's the government you know like is actually Kinda. behind everything you know. I guess that's, I guess, the thing that I thought, you know, it's like the purge is turning the American citizenry loose on itself. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, well, they're not killing enough people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the government's actually like funding these like super powered, uh, you know, uh, uh, semis with, you know, all the tracking, you know, stuff, which is unfair. (laughs) And not just killing enough people, not killing enough poor people. Yeah, Yeah. because that's how we're, yeah, yeah, because I think... Because Colin (laughs) said it, and I'm just like, oh, shit, you're right. Yeah. (laughs) Because some of the graphics say that it's just like, um, people, there's, there's, nobody lives below the poverty line anymore, and the cause like, they killed everyone below the poverty line. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, they did. Oh, fuck, yeah, right? That's the point of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, So, our, 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 our group all... um. Because Frank Grillo ends up just stumbling upon uh, the Eva and her daughter getting uh, pulled out of the apartment mm-hmm. by these soldiers, yep. and because he's like, just keep driving. Yeah, he's supposed keep to be driving, that cold-hearted killer. He's not supposed to feel yep. anything. He's got a job to do, and that's what he's. That's, but that's he his mission. can't turn down another human being in peril, and so mm-hmm. he intercedes. And of course, he's a fucking badass. And he's mm-hmm. like, <laughs> it is pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I, I like know. it. I like it. <laughs> maybe maybe I should deep dive some of these straight to streaming Frank Grillo movies i might like them you know i like canon movies i might like them you know i guess some, that's the thing it's like he's good at it in this and, yeah you know he was good at it in a he, couple other ones but it's like is that all he does like you're seeing it every time you watch a yeah. frank grillo movie i right? want but him to step up the gun kata a little bit yeah. i want it to be a little more choreographed you, you know like he's like the the uh chuck uh norris of the purge of, of I'm blumhouse like, i guess but, but yeah chuck norris <laughs> had like karate and he came from you know it's like Hey, he choked a guy out that was like twice his size. He did. (laughs) That's very true. Yeah. Um, And we. Movies with Kevin Dillon. Don't know. Uh, Well, I might have to watch it. Don't show me that. (laughs) (laughs) Don't show me that Bruce Willis, too. Don't show me that, that face. Is Bruce Willis, Frank Grillo, and Oh Kevin no, Dillon. that's probably one of the like <laughs> I'm losing my brain movies. I need money. Ooh, yeah. that's oh, probably Oh yeah, because it was in, in twenty twenty two. So yikes. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. I can't watch that ethically. I can't watch that. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So, um, well, okay. So he intercedes, saves the uh, the woman and her daughter. Yes. And then uh, how do the married couple uh, get into this? They sneak into the back of his uh, unlocked armored car yeah. while he's saving them. Because when you need to them. get away from the guys who are hunting them, which are the street toughs, you got to... Get, get in the, the back seat of what looks like a cop car. like An it, armored yeah. car with the doors open? Yep. Okay. Makes yeah. sense. <laughs> These two deserved whatever happened to yeah. them. So I was waiting for like some revelation of who they actually were to yeah, come about. Like there was something, like there was something special about them. No, no, there's not. No. no, they're idiots that got caught up in all <laughs> yes. this. It's just Shane and Liz going through a breakup. Yep. Um, That's her name, by the way, Liz. Is nah. is it okay? Liz? I was like, yep. I could not okay. remember. Um. So once they're together, it's going to be okay. We've got our. Uh, our separate storylines have now all merged. All these people are going to have to band together yep. to survive the night in downtown Los Angeles with all the crazy shit going on. What's the crazy shit that we saw? Little snippets, because that's what, you know, they basically, these Purge movies are kind of built on, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, I these, mean, you just see random murder here yeah. and there. These people yeah. are not quiet enough. Yeah, they they yell a, a lot. They argue with each other. They are not quiet enough. You know, and I know we have to have them be stupid to a certain degree to have a movie, right? right. Yeah. Correct. Uh, but uh, like these movies, they can't help but make you think of how you would handle it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so when you're watching the movie, you're like, just crawl down in a storm drain and sit in the sewer. Until the twelve hours are yeah, up. Yeah, I didn't think the, you know the literally idea of, anything. Of crawling in the the uh, garbage Duster? can yeah. was, was it, like a bad idea. But there's a body idea. in there, and they're so like, "Go, go to the next, next one. So go, go to the next yeah, one." You yeah. passed yeah. five yes, when you yeah. ran away from that one. Honestly, that sitting dumpster. in a dumpster <laughs> that was for a great idea. <laughs> sitting in a dumpster for twelve hours sounds like a pretty great idea. Right. The worst thing they can do is dump another body on top of you. Yeah. Well, and also there's that scene when they're in the in the subway. Yeah. And there's like the homeless people in like the little nooks. Great idea. Okay. Those they would have been fine. They would have yeah. been fine if they didn't run out. They would have yes. been fine. Yeah. 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 When that well, when that Jeep thing comes needed, down and starts right. like blowing, but, they would have the been fine. plot them between our main characters yes. and the people trying to kill yes. us. But I think, I think so that the, the guys no. who came into the guys who came into the subway weren't the ones that were chasing uh, the yeah, newlyweds. Yeah. Yeah. They were different people who were out to kill the homeless and so they had a flamethrower and they were blasting into there so they yeah. had to get out and run. They yeah. weren't though. They were just driving and were they blasting a flamethrower? But they they they, they, were, they weren't Colin going saying, in the nooks. Colin's saying uh, they jumped out before the flamethrower people got to them. If yeah. the flamethrower people had gotten to them, they I, the flamethrower. I don't people. think so. I think they were just driving by, just going I agree, crazy. And, and I don't. Have I think out. if they hadn't moved, they would have been fine. And yes. I, th- I think like I think that's kind of the problem with this franchise is that they're not creative enough with the situation, right? Mm-hmm. That might be like, true. Like, I feel like us just kind of spitballing or coming up, like, go crazy with it. Don't make it, I understand yeah. it's trying to be like a serious grounded home invasion movie. When I'm watching this movie, I'm thinking about like, why not just like rent a boat, drive out in the middle of the lake and sit there for 12 hours? Yeah. You know? Yeah, do we get- it's Like, there's so many, so much potential the to avoid the situation. Yeah, on the water? Like, yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> pirate purge, yeah. Yeah, pirate purge. Yeah, yeah. Pirate purge. yeah. yeah. Like Pir- the purge, the pirates. Yeah, there's as long so as you many don't ways go you can play international it. War- right. Water right. Yeah, how does that work? <laughs> yeah. Well, the was, friends are just waiting for us. Right. I was also oh, kind of iffy on like you know because you think it like okay anything above a class four weapon mm-hmm. again I'm I'm not entirely yeah, so sure. No what rocket cla- launchers. Yeah. No WMD. Yeah. Right. You yeah. can't yeah. set off a dirty bomb. Yeah. And, uh, no C four. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, but so I was like, okay, well, how can you prosecute this? Like possibly, right, how are you going right. to know if somebody blows up a, you know, but they do somehow that was great because, uh, at some point somebody does use C4 and then all of a yeah. sudden there's the a purge voice, resistance army. Yeah, yeah. A voice message comes on and is like, this will be, you know, is uh, use of these weapons is illegal and will be prosecuted. And I'm like, Wah. where'd that come from? Yeah. <laughs> where'd that come from? <laughs> Who's talking right now? How do they know? Yeah. Where is, right. is this going to be prosecuted? Like right, right you now got a guy on camera, but he's wearing a mask. How are you going right. to, like, we can't, yeah. we can't do this now. Right. We've got people on camera committing crimes, and we can't. We're just like, and uh, the police know nothing else after mm-hmm. that. And they're just like, okay, that just goes off into the ether. And mm-hmm. you're going to be prosecuted in tomorrow or something, or a couple days, because there's no standing army to come in and actually do anything. Can you about imagine it. the day after a purge at the courthouse? <laughs> there's a little line down the street, everyone with their fucking tickets and warrants and shit. Like <laughs> it's that one scene in um, the Dark Knight, yeah, where they've recoed all the all the criminals yeah. and yes. one side. Yes, and going, ah, I'm innocent. Yeah, yeah. two hundred yeah. of them. Mm-hmm. It's basically that. God, can you imagine? 
I do like at the beginning of this movie where the diner and the the boss says, "Hope to see you all tomorrow." <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, oh, oh great! It would be interesting to go into work the day after the purge and be like, "Who isn't here?" Right. You there's, know, there's like so much around this that you can make little things. Uh, uh, we need before and after about. movies. Like, yeah, that is so interesting. Mm-hmm. Maybe sometimes more interesting than the actual movie, just mm-hmm. like the aftermath and like mm-hmm. Susan didn't come in today. What? It, oh. Oh, <laughs> she got like, purged on like short anyway. She YouTube never shared the candy on her desk. Yeah. You could do, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, because like the one you could do the office version the day after yeah, the purge. Because like the one coworker, literally, it's like, oh, she didn't, she didn't come in because her sister killed her for having an affair with her husband. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> well, like, that oh. sucks. Interesting. Okay, so the purge had kind of nothing to do with it, just murder. I know, because you figure even in that situation, right? Like, uh, say she had pulled off what she wanted to do. Yeah. Like I'm killing my cheating husband and sister. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she waited until purge day too. It's yeah. genius. Wait until purge yeah. night. I killed him. Yeah. And then you know, like the next day, I mean, your parents are still there. That's their daughter too. And right. You're like, like yeah. that's some family drama. And it's like, right well, there. no, it was legal. Cause I did it during purge night. I mean, you know, right. right. That's the family discussion. It's like, <laughs> look, we know it was legal, but we, we have some problems with what you did. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, so the movie is uh, uh, it becomes an action film, right? Mm-hmm. It's a full ahead. We're running. Uh, they're running into you know different purge gangs. They're being pursued by at least two, right? Mm-hmm. The yes. the ones that are chasing Big the married Daddy couple, and, uh, and Lakeith Stanfield, apparently. Yeah, yeah for so, two seconds. Wow. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Well, you say he's in the movie, so who is he? He's like one of the like the resistance gang members. No, that talk, no, no? no, he's one of the the one who's got God on. Oh, him. okay. Yeah. He's one, one of he's stalking the, the street couple. toughs. He's, yeah. yeah, he's one of the roundups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, who's been we've seen throughout the movie, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, eventually we get in like the fucking ice cream truck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they have been chasing. So you know they're like the menacing uh, uh, villains that are you know hovering out there. They, and they're they the seen, ones you see in the trailers. Yeah, they're and, the, yeah. the trailer they ones. Yeah, because yeah. we didn't have the LED masks in yeah. this one. So yeah. this one you see in the trailers for this movie. So we do see what they're doing. Mm-hmm. They uh, they're dragging people off the street, throwing them in the ice cream truck. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's mm-hmm. like, oh my god, what's going to happen to our heroes? You know, when they get thrown in the ice cream truck. Well, eventually we find out because they all get caught and thrown in the ice cream truck. Mm-hmm. And uh, then, um, it, we, you know, one of them unmasks and it's like he's Stanfield yep. and it's like, okay, what are you going to do with us? And uh, yeah, he's like, uh, like oh, I just need money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It? So it's capitalism, man. It all yeah. it runs up that way. I know, you know, but again, it's like, okay, it's uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's it just seems like it's taking I don't know. It, you know, it's like, okay, we're just gonna keep blaming like the the rich people, right? I mean, it's like it's all them. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's the rich people <laughs> and the government. So the rich people are paying uh the crews to go out on the street mm-hmm. and bring them people so they can do so the most can, dangerous game, I guess. Yeah, because I, I mean, we hear at one point that like the way wealthy people purge is that yeah, they hire people to bring bait to them, and then they do it in their own home because it's they can still purge, they, but they it's safe. Purge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's just like how all those celebrities during the pandemic were complaining about having to stay home in their like five thousand square foot mansions. You know, yeah. it's like shut the They're fuck up. They're complaining because they ran yeah. out of people to kill in their yeah. living rooms. Right. <laughs> so, I, I don't understand the the. The grandfather or the the dad who mm-hmm. goes off and gets killed by the rich, like mm-hmm. yeah. why? That, but that's just uh, I understand it for that for the moment it happens in the movie that it's creepy and and gross and you know it's basically they're just saying rich people buying poor people mm-hmm. to kill them. But yeah. like, why are those rich people killing people? Like, why? Because do, they're sick. Yeah, I, I know. But is this is that a is that a uh, causation of the purge? Like they wouldn't have done it until the purge became legal. Like they didn't want to kill. Like I a think it's a. It that's. I think it's the fact that rich people live above the law all they, the time, right? And they just have no sense of that thing. And well, no, but just, it, it. I mean, it is. It is condemning them because they're all like. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, they like pray at the dinner table. Or, they pray you know, around them before they before kill them. They yeah. kill them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're very gleeful because they're doing their patriotic duty. So they're, they're like, the, the fact that I can murder people is something that I've always wanted to do. But now right. the but purge now has right. made it legal. Yeah, you know? it's right. my right. Like, yeah. right. When you get to a certain point, like a certain richness, it's well, a yeah, different we, world. We've talked about before on yeah. this podcast how when you eat steak every day, it starts to taste like McDonald's, right? right yeah, so yeah. like mm-hmm. you have to con- you level. have to constantly up the steaks. 
look up that picture of Jeff Bezos eating that roasted iguana for dinner and doing a whole photo shoot of it. Yeah, like I missed that it, one. Yeah, like <laughs> it's the most super villain shit I've ever seen in yeah, my entire so. life. Just like, like what, else, what, what else can yeah. I do? I'm right. I have billions of dollars. I'm gonna, what I'm else gonna, can I do? I'm gonna buy Twitter. Very yeah, true. Very true. when the world is your oyster, you make yeah. stupid Very decisions. True. Like right. that's yeah, just it's really that simple. I know. Yeah, and killing me. I was like, I was like, I don't know why you're confused. Look at Elon Musk. Yeah, Army Hammer. Look at Army Hammer. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense. Fuckers, crazy. Right. So, um, although it does kind of, you know, I'm like, I'm always kind of giddy imagining Jason Blum making these movies. I mean, like, yeah. he's not a poor guy, right. right? But he's like, no, no, I'm on your side. Like, you know, when the purge actually happens, uh-huh. I made, I made the purge. You know, Mike, me and Michael Bay, we made this movie. I'm like, well, you are okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is another short. <laughs> Michael Bay and Jason Blum become victims of the purge in the <laughs> editing room of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, Perception. Yeah. <laughs> There's another character in the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, the late uh, Michael K. Williams is he's also great. in yes. this. Uh, he was in a ton of stuff, like mm-hmm. back in the. I think he's probably most famous for The Wire, mm-hmm. right? Is that, yeah. yeah. I would say so. Um, but, but he, he shows up. Malcolm X in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of like. Carmelo. It felt like. I'm I'm trying to remember like exactly where his uh you know stardom was at. This seemed like they were just getting him in like there was this is like a nothing mm-hmm. part right mm-hmm. but his face is there yeah. and he spouts lines but it's basically just to show up like we got him in in the purge but so yeah what what is his character then what's he doing he's a leader of the resistance yeah basically yeah so On basically like night, a, like a malcolm x type yeah which basically makes him another purge gang yep. yeah I, I, it's the logic is flimsy because you're fighting fire with fire right. against the rich. So it's like, I get where he's coming from. I just don't know how effective it's going to be. Right. <laughs> right. Especially you're, that, you're using the violated weapons. There's too, that so. line yeah. when he's like, it, nothing's going to change until their blood is spilled. And it's like, well... On Purge Night, it's like right, the, everybody's yeah. fair game. Right. Yeah. Except, no, uh, no, not everybody's fair game. <laughs> oh, that's There's right. level 10s or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certain government employees and above are exempt, Bullshit. including the president. Bullshit. How yes. do you delineate those people? I assume that there is like a, a chart or something. Yeah, but, because I mean, we see that they graphic. They're just so far not close to where purging is happening. Yeah. Yeah, you, oh, know, they're, you know they're you know they're in a bunker. You know yes. that fucking like doomsday bunker that only yeah. like the yeah. president can go. Yeah, oh they yeah, hide, they're all yeah, where in they there. hide the seeds yeah. and shit. Yeah. In case we got to regrow well, yeah. the planet. Yeah, but yeah they're they in there. I guess because it says specifically in the you know the purge call that like they're you know it's illegal to to kill mm-hmm. them if they're in a bunker. You wouldn't need to put that out on a. I, I think they still have they're, gonna, they're gonna take the precautions anyway. Yeah. So. I'm they like, because that to. lady on top of the bridge who was like spouting mm-hmm. off about whatever the hell, mm-hmm. uh, she wouldn't care. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, not at all. Right. They were yeah. in her way. You'd I was really right. waiting for someone to kill her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it didn't happen. Did. Yeah. Nope. Um, I just get randos mm-hmm. running through. Yeah. There. So uh, our heroes. Um, I see those people on the street every day. It's just they don't. Just have guns. shouting with the megaphone. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And literally, <laughs> and they just don't have guns. If I see someone with a megaphone, I'm turning around, walking the opposite direction because there's nothing they have to say that I no, want to hear. No, you get to the farthest yep. end of the sidewalk you yep. can and just get by. Mm-hmm. Them. Mm-hmm. So the um, well, yeah. I mean, I guess it 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 comes to that moment where our heroes get uh, captured, right? Because. As far as character development, uh, we haven't really progressed any of them at this point, right? No, mm-hmm. not, because not we're, we're saving couple. that. We're, we're saving it. We're saving it until they're the most <laughs> saving, ga- dangerous game right, uh, situation. The hunting warehouse. Yes, it's it is like a like a laser tag facility. Right. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is the the rich people's. Laser tag with uh, I like I appreciate like, that they did have bulletproof. And it's right. like a gala. Yeah, we we oh, should yeah. mention like yeah. there's like a gala with a live auction. Yeah, which did this before Get Out? I would like to point out that they are auctioning off people to hunt, uh, and like there is regular people that come and do this every year, and like, they're known for their hunting styles. They talk about these sisters mm-hmm. that have these golden machetes. It's very yeah. Hunger Games. Yeah, Fuck yeah, very Hunger yeah, Games. Yeah, knives. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so a couple groups of rich people bid for the chance to hunt this group of people. Yep. And the group of people is like our gang of five yeah. that we've been And it's a black tie movie. affair. Yep. Mm-hmm. This All should be, this best should be, diamonds. This should be famous people. Like Kim Kardashian It'd should be, be great. one yeah, of the people yeah, doing yeah, yeah. 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 We're not actually going out on the streets. We're just going to have them brought here. Yep. Um, I guess we're, yeah, there was all that stuff that led up to this. So um, during this when the hunters are turned loose, mm-hmm. right? 
I was surprised that up until this moment, our gang of five mm -hmm. is uh, like for the entire movie. Uh, we don't lose any of them. Right. No, yeah. We have one right. guy get shot through the shoulder, but he's good. Yep. I mean, we haven't lost anybody. Yeah. So at this, uh, we're going to resolve some some character arcs here, mm -hmm. right? Because I do, uh, I do I have to say I do appreciate in this scene that they're all dressed like full British hunting party. Yeah, I love <laughs> they are. Did I you, was looking for it too. Like they got the boots. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I love this. Did you notice the one guy had like a bow and arrow too? I was like, oh, I love <laughs> that he's he? going like analog <laughs> with it. Yeah. Yeah. And the this? wait staff, it turns out, is also getting right. in on the action yeah. at some right. point. They're the security force. But the rich people felt like um, even from like uh, your next or mm -hmm. ready or not. This yes. Kind of felt like in yeah. similar vein. Mm -hmm. of those and the family's killing people, but yes. I really would like to know how much you get paid to be a waitstaff at the Purge. Right? Yeah, because you're just, expected uh, to be security when shit right, just, goes yeah. down. And the clause, like, should shit go down, you are responsible for wrangling the loose yeah. uh, victims mm -hmm. and uh, how much more... Like, that like, has is, to be, like... What is the pay level yeah. on that? Mm-hmm. You maybe we're reading job. it wrong. Maybe they weren't. Maybe, maybe that was just a security uniform. That was to designate. No, the, no. You're not. They were, they you're were not handing out plates tie. of food 10 minutes earlier. Okay. okay. I guarantee it. But, but, okay. Even if that wasn't the wait staff, there is a wait staff at this gala. Yeah. And how much do you get paid to be wait staff at the perk? Because right. like, anything's and legal. You need to like anything can kill yeah. you with yeah. that, uh, the flambe yeah. yeah. skewer. Yeah. Um, you have to be a. You have to get pretty penny piss somebody to be off. They're going to kill right. you. And they can get away with it. Yeah, Hell's Kitchen yeah. takes on a totally yeah. different time. <laughs> like, point. It would, yeah. like it'd have to be one of those things where it's like, oh, what do you do for a living? Well, on purge night, I bartend, and that covers me for the whole year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Right? Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, for the, rich the tips are great on right. purge yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. Well, it turns out our main cast isn't necessary at all at this play at this point because uh, Frank Grillo, uh, one man army, uh, <laughs> yeah. can just. <laughs> Yeah, right. kill there everybody. Are, there are other people in this auction group, other victims who are off getting murdered by the group as the core group, the core force sticks together and it kind of uh, uh, makes a plan to take down at least one person. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you got to get the gun in their cool uh, yeah. mm -hmm. night vision goggles. Yeah. But then one of them gets clipped. And that's poor oh. Zach, uh, Zach <laughs> Gibbon, Griff, Griffin, Griffin, Gilford, Gilford, Gilford. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yep, he goes down. Okay. So that resolves our. Uh, so I just want you. To, I left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then she I just. Laughed. That's right. They were going to Louder stay together, I folks. Yeah. I think they were going to. They had reconciled their relationship. It was the, because we care. Yep, because they went through this night of hell. Oh no, this is exactly how it should have gone. Right at the moment of reconciliation, dead. Like yes, I agree with this decision. I do appreciate the the sharp left turn character arc she makes here, where she immediately decides she wants to purge now that oh, he's yeah. dead. Oh, immediately, yeah. Which I feel like That's how you make purge. Do you need to have like a name tag that says like I'm vengeance purging? Mm. Like I'm out ah. here for my one target because that's or, what or Frank Grillo is doing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. Yeah, I have beef with no one except my one specific target. Please don't shoot me. Like that I'm vengeance shoot. purging. <laughs> yeah, you know, this be good this because that's different that... than right. ge general purging. And I wonder you how know? much you, of this is discussed before Purge Night. Right, right. Because there would be, yeah. be news specials on this yes. shit. <laughs> yeah. This, the, the, what happens outside of Purge Night is almost more interesting yes. than Purge Night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. right. We need the movies on the front and the back yeah. of Purge Night, well, you know? You can keep this going for Ever. years. Yeah. I mean, as long as audiences show up, and I guess they still are right. for the, the latest one. So um, they escape from this dire situation because they are rescued by Michael K. Williams, yep. uh, Freedom Fighter Resistance, Carmelo. who comes in and uh, uh, blows everyone away. Yep. Uh, it's them versus the 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 security staff, or sorry, the wait staff. Yep. So our heroes <laughs> slip out, and then it's like, okay, we made it. We have a little time left. Mm -hmm. And Frank Grillo's like, God damn it, I am still, doesn't matter what I've seen tonight. I am, I'm still going to kill that guy. And they're like, but why, Frank? Why are you going to do it? <laughs> Which also, not your business. Just let the man Tell do the what man he go. needs to do. He's helped you out enough. You're not in a position to criticize how he's handling Purge Night. Do we night. say that he does kind of take a shine to Eva's daughter because I think he sees... Misplaced like, feelings right, for his yeah. son. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I do kind of understand why they're like in protest because at this point they're like... We're we're okay. Like yeah. we're almost there. Can right. we just like just drive around? Sure. We're in the clear. And yeah, just, just ride it out. We're so close. Right. Like I get it. Right. Yeah. But he's like, no. You see the house over there? The guy who was in the house. He killed my son. So I'm gonna kill him. 
And I've just and a drunk his. he drunkenly run over ran over his son. So it yeah. wasn't even like a purge day killing. It was like right. yep. he fucked up, got off on a technicality. I was kind of hoping they would explore it a little bit more. And like, yeah, he hit him at like seven oh one on purge night. Well, so, he did, yeah, say, that's 12, I was he did say twelve months ago. Yeah, so right. it made, yeah. It, it, made right. it seem like it was like right the day after purge or the right day before purge. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they could have got into the, like they give me the details. They could have yeah. made this a little more emotional for Frank Grail. Mm-hmm. I think. At this moment, mm-hmm. it could have been more emotional for like I don't know. Like, I, I was missing yeah. that on everybody. Even when uh, yeah. uh, Kai Sanchez's husband gets killed, it was like, <laughs> right? No, did not care. And, and it, yeah, no. There's certain levels. <clears throat> although uh, there was a certain level I really felt for Frank Green. I was just like, oh, mm-hmm. like when he grabs her hand at the end. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. yeah, okay. he's like, I'm going to do it anyway, and mm-hmm. he goes in because they've got uh, Ethan Hawke's uh, uh, security doors mm-hmm. on yeah. the yeah. house, but he's disabled, so he gets in there. That I thought that scene between him and the guy who killed his son was his best moment. Oh my god! Oh, I was like, 100%. wait, is he actually a good actor in that scene? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. that's really 100%. good. Yeah. 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 yeah it's his. Um his Sarah Connor moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why'd you kill my boy? You yeah. know, he's got the guy there. It was, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. compelling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you was like, see okay. his face? What did he look like? I was mm-hmm. like, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. that was good. That was good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we cut away from, does he kill him? Mm-hmm. And then the movie starts like manipula- manipulating you like crazy. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, did he kill him? We don't know. The, the movie's not going to show you. Frank Grillo comes out the next morning. Uh, I think we're at the end of coming close to the end of Purge. Mm-hmm. It, it was yeah. like five minutes till. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then we went way past five minutes. But it yes. felt like we went way past it. Yeah. He there's comes a lot of slow mo in this movie, too. There's, so yeah. it stretches and it out. A shot bit. coming out of the door. Yep. Surprise. Mm-hmm. We're like, what? Mm-hmm. And so it's Big Daddy has tracked him down yeah. the whole night. Yes. Yeah. Big Daddy being the guy in the semi truck yep. that yeah. Frank yeah. Grillo clipped the him in the face. Government appointed. Yes. Like Purger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where he gets to exposition dump on us. And mm-hmm. like, you know. Yeah. Not killing. And the people aren't killing enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The governments were killing the founding fathers, right? Yeah. The new founding, founding fathers. Yeah. Because they were wondering. I mean, it's an answer to a question that was planted earlier in the movie. It's like, why is my... When the army people were coming in to get Eva and her daughter and everything, it's like, why are they coming to buildings and pulling people out? And why does it look like, you know, official shit and everything like that? So it gives an answer to that. But, I mean, did we really need it? Right. But, man, he was going to hunt that guy down because we can't have heroes. You know? Mm-mm. Nope. No Mm-mm. heroes. Not on Purge Night. Nope. Mm-hmm. Don't help well, he took people. it personal because he got, you know, shot in the face, right. I guess. Right. But, you know. She greased well. him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's going to kill Frank Grillo and there will not be a purge three with Frank Grillo. But then. Oh, no. Will someone save him? Mm -hmm. Someone will. Someone save. Who is it? It's the guy he did not kill. Yeah. Look at all these amazing twists that this movie has taken <laughs> yeah. at the who's, end. Who is also an actor I've seen in a few other things. As he, well. he looks familiar, doesn't he? He's very, yeah. He, yeah, he's been in some other stuff where yeah. he plays, I think, not a good guy either. Yeah. Like, he's just got a bad guy face. But, like, does this mean their life debt is, like, paid off now? Right? They're <laughs> even now, right? right? So, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like, right. no, yeah, I killed your right. son, but I also right. saved also, your life. You so, didn't, yeah. you didn't kill me, yeah. and then yeah. I saved yeah. your life, yeah. and I'm taking you to the hospital. Right. So, we're even, right? I think that's what they're doing. We've got to wait a year from now. Call it square. Yeah, good. Right. Yeah. Because I was kind of thinking, like, you know, if he killed that guy and he walks out and he gets shot, it's like, okay, that's like karma. Yeah. Right? Because you're a bad guy. You're taking place in part in the purge. So, you get shot. But then it's like turns out he forgave that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just wanted to torture him a little bit, just a little bit. Well, I think he he decided to spare him. Yeah, like in the you know, he just, just emotionally terrorize him, to, him a little. You know, you know? Yeah, yeah. So he's like, okay, I got mine, but I'm gonna let mm-hmm. you live. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. and the guy saves his life. Mm-hmm. Thank God, so he can come back for. The purge election year. Purge election year. <laughs> right. Wasn't he like a, ser- a secret service agent? That's it. Because that he's there to protect Elizabeth Mitchell. Is her name Mitchell? Yes, Mitchell. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he's there. He's like to protect her. He's like mm-hmm. secret service at that point mm-hmm. to get her through because she's the president, I believe, to get her through that whole night and everything. I saw that one. I remember. Seeing I the just don't remember anything before. about it. <laughs> that tracks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh well. I, I, I mm-hmm. bet we get a lot of what we got in this movie, and then just a few different twists here and there, and you know. Same movie. Mm-hmm. But things are going to be great for Eva and her, do- Eva and her daughter now. They should sure. have $100,000 yeah. in their bank account. Yep. 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 If their father, if her father was murdered, mm-hmm. purged. That'll get them a year or something. Sure. Yeah. Uh, until the next purge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll be able to yeah. get something out of that. Maybe more security. What have you. Do you think if, let's say you like cut someone off in traffic, like two days after the purge just happened, are you sweating it that whole year? Being like, fuck. <laughs> are you that whole I mean, year? Are you just like, God, are they going to come get me? Fucking. Again, 300 some days all the ideas right? down yeah, like, because these are little short films. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
that you can make. I'm just thinking about all the times throughout the day, like little things like that annoy yeah. me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, would I hang on to that no, for years? You can, so, you can expand yeah. upon this. Yeah. Like the, the little thing where earlier in the movie where the canary was like, maybe I'm going to kidnap her. And yeah. We'll there's so many. But there's so, yeah. again, I'm just thinking office versions of this where people just hold grudges because uh, you didn't replace the toner in the printer. Right. Yeah. And now I'm going to kill you on purge night. But I like, think so, it. Like stupid shit like that. But it, does it also have the adverse effect of like, you know how sometimes they tell you when you're angry to not make decisions and to like cool yeah. off for a little bit? Do you think sometimes people, it has the opposite effect where people get real upset over something and then like, they're like, well, I'm going to wait for purge day. And then by the time purge day comes, they're like, past it. I mean, yeah. Could, I mean, you know? Yeah. That's why, yeah. We sh- that's why there's a purge day. Yeah. yeah. There's just so many scenarios. I feel like it could be like CSI purge. Seriously. You know? yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or you just get to a situation where, got, where the guy's got a gun in his face. He's like, what did I do? And yeah. it's some innocuous reason as yeah. to why he's being purged right now. It's like, like, what did I do? You know what? I don't even remember you anymore. Yeah. The staples in the staple, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess this Stupid brings shit. me to a question then. I mean, there was a a weekly television show mm-hmm. what was the premise of the show I it no wasn't idea. standalone episodes Good question like an anthology it was uh, different years of the purge mm-hmm. it could be different situations i'm sure there was a through line of different people i i, I have it's no just idea. like we're surviving the, it's like a just a longer a version question. of purge night or something I'm like curious. that i'm curious i'm gonna go look and out? see what the tv show is now yeah. because i'm curious I think, it, I think the Captain description Google's on imdb on just says in an altered united states several unrelated people discover how far they will go to survive a night during which all crime is legal for 12 hours so that gives me nothing about hmm. how connected they yeah, are is it like a whole it went from one season yeah so, so it's basically a whole, is it a whole this season? movie stretched right. over like is it a whole season of one night because that's it might be. Oh, I don't. I don't. Like I, don't I don't like yeah. it at all. Oh, yeah. Missed opportunity. Like every, you get seven. You get twelve. Yeah, there's episodes, only twenty episodes. So yeah, I'd yeah. like. I'd do a twenty-four version of yeah. it. Right. I'd, like I'd be. I'd be okay with it if it's different scenarios. Yeah, right. it needs to be an anthology. Like yeah, that it's like yeah. one yeah. purge night, but di- what's happening? Different scenarios throughout right. the city. Right. And then you find yeah. out what the connecting thing is. It does, yeah. They don't even have to connect. The purge is what connects them. Like that's the thing. Like right. But it might be more interesting if like something that happened here ramifications happen over here. See, I would. I would just treat it like creep show. Every you episode is too. a standalone story and make it 20 to 40 minutes and it wraps yeah. up and done. That's what I would, ways. you know. This Again, potential opportunity yeah. with this idea, it, I think, is its biggest selling point. Because yeah. you're always curious, like, oh, what are they going to do now? Mm-hmm. Is it something I've thought of while watching these movies? Right. Will they enter that? Yeah. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. so they're, again, I think that's why people keep coming back. It's like, what area will they cover in this one? Right. And can will they run out of good ideas? I don't think you, I mean... Ideas? Yeah, it, it, I think it's one of those things where eventually the audience stops coming. That I think determines, so. yeah. you know, but I think you could keep going. Right. right. Okay. Definitely no, with I this one. I think something like this, there will be a, a, a time, like maybe five, six years where they mm-hmm. don't do it. And they'll be like, oh, we got an idea. We'll come back. Mm-hmm. The new purge mm-hmm. or something yeah. like that. And, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. about that. It's been like five years since the last one. Yeah. So, yeah. Has it? Oh, yeah. Almost. I thought there was another one in development. I thought he was working on another one. but Somebody yeah. will come along with an idea where well, they'll just feel like the purge is back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, that is uh, the purge anarchy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to go. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. We're going to uh, go around the table and tell you what we thought of it. But first. We're going to answer some of your mail, and in order to do that, we're going to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Do you think he's lived through a purge? Yeah, he's bulletproof. He's yeah. Fine. yeah. That mucus <laughs> just really, yeah, he, you know. He, he, in that last half hour, he goes through and picks the body parts of all the purge victims <laughs> to see what he can <laughs> yeah. Yeah. place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's a great he's night a, for him. It's an organ donation yeah. night for he's him. Like, he's employment like, the next fun. day. Yeah, it's he's my a favorite purge, night of the year. He's a purge harvester. Yeah. yeah. See, there, yeah. okay, there's another movie the where garbage <laughs> people are going to clean up <laughs> yeah. the body. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. people <laughs> are going to clean up the bodies the next day at the organ donation facility, yeah. but they're just like overflowing with organs donated from all the people. They would look at that as one of the benefits of the purge. It's like we have all these organs to give to the people who are Boost the economy. Yeah. All these funeral homes are yeah. just this raking in the cash. Oh my god, there's so much potential with this idea. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. Uh, well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook, facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show, or X at Sat Freak Show, or email Saturday Night Freak Show Yahoo.com, or uh, Instagram threads at Saturday Night Freak Show about the purge anarchy. Ooh. Dave Forbes writes in and says, this franchise has good ideas, 
but ultimately a pile of wank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, <laughs> thank you to our overseas fans. Yes. Carson Snar says it was a good idea to have the sequel take place all over the city instead of one just focused location like the first movie. Yes. Yeah. It made things a lot more interesting and opened up the possibilities. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think as, as Blumhouse got bigger, their opportunities and obviously budget got bigger and they mm-hmm. could explore these options. But yeah. Michael Whitaker says uh, Purge Anarchy is literally the best Purge movie. It's like someone saw the first movie and said, great, now do everything different. Mm -hmm. It also made me realize Frank Grillo should have been the Punisher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's trying hard for it. I don't think so. (laughs) Travis Legler says, I saw the first Purge and thought it was "Eh, okay. The second one felt like a better movie, but it didn't really grab my attention or my imagination. The whole concept of the Purge was too much for my suspension of disbelief. And I'm a guy that'll buy Jason being brought back to life by lightning bolt Mm -hmm. or a comet that can make machines become sentient. (laughs) Yeah. The Jason lightning bolt is in our, just in our DNA. We have to believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucas Accardo says, I remember it as the best of the purges, mainly because it becomes a Frank Grillo action movie. (laughs) And if you uh, ask me a pretty cool one at that, Mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. Uh, last week we watched a movie called Tales from the Dark Side. Oh, R.J. Yeah. Skarenki said it's a perfect movie for Halloween weekend. One of my dad's favorites. Mm-hmm. Also, rest in peace, my dad. Aww. Aww. What yes. a good way to remember yeah. your dad, though. Uh, Justin Denny Hall says, to answer your question, Ray Don Chong's father is Tommy Chong. He's half white, really? English, there we Irish, go. and half Chinese, and her mother is Mother Maxine Sneed is black. Wow, I had no idea wow. her dad was Tommy I know. Chong. Crazy. We missed that on that episode. Wow. Well, like thank Tommy you for Chong's enlightening daughter. us. Yeah. Did wow. I know that? It feels I like I knew that I knew at some that. point and forgot it. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, fascinating yeah. to know. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank, you. To know. thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Uh, Will Doc says, I remember going to the drive-in with my family when I was a kid, and I couldn't wait to see Tales from the Dark Side. But when it came on, I hid under a blanket the whole movie. Oh. Dude, <laughs> that movie would have traumatized me as a kid for sure. <laughs> Uh, the week before we watched a movie called Sleepy Hollow, oh, yeah. the Kryptonian orphan says, okay, ladies, between Holly and Michaela, which one of y'all would volunteer to have been Christopher Walken's first on screen kiss? <laughs> I would 100%. Yeah, it's yeah, like, I absolutely. think Holly's going to take that. <laughs> absolutely. One. 100%. I just want to whisper in his ear, what happened to Natalie Wood? That's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kiss. I just want to know the truth. <laughs> And he immediately cuts your head off. Yeah. Uh, well, Jonathan Holt says, first on screen kiss. Please didn't tell us. Catwoman kiss him to kill him in Batman Returns? Well, we don't see it. We just see Taser and going in for it. Yeah. We don't see uh, it. Okay, yeah, okay. But that is a good point. It's a good point. Bring it up. But they didn't actually kiss. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, I forgot about that. I want to watch Batman Returns. <laughs> it's so good. I haven't watched Batman Returns. I love it. And it's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. It is. I know. It's yeah. a Christmas movie. Yeah. 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 There you go. I love right. it. Uh, well, thank you, each of you, for writing in. We really yes, appreciate it. And now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of the Purge Anarchy, starting with... Holly! Mm. Uh, what did you think about the Purge uh, Anarchy? I'd like to ask, as oh. we all give our roundups, what would you do during Purge Night? Okay. Like, if you were going to commit a crime, what would you commit? Oh. Or, so, we, do, the, do, do we have if to you're commit part- a crime? Are you going to participate in the Purge or no? Shopping and if you mall. are, what are you doing? Going to the shopping mall. Yeah. I'm getting myself in. I'm eating all the stuff. You're, you're Dawn, Dawn of the Dead, Dead name, huh? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um uh okay. I didn't care for this movie. Oh. I don't think the purge is for me. Um I I think part of it is the current like political climate that we're in sure. and it's very unsettling and mm-hmm. it's very there's a lot of uncertainty and this movie was kind of triggering and like fuck I just like <laughs> feel like this could happen like it's just we're that ridiculously far gone especially the um, date yeah mm-hmm. so um like I felt like anxiety watching the first not towards the like later on in the movie when it gets more action movie like it I was fine but at the beginning I'm like wow I'm like triggered right now this is giving me anxiety <laughs> um but just the premise of it I don't I don't dig it it's not for me um, I think I haven't, I've only seen the first one in this one. Um, but from what I understand, I think this is the most palatable one. I think this is the one has the most rewatchable, um, uh, quality to it. It's got a lot of problems. I don't think it's a bad movie. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't, I, I didn't hate it. I just don't think it's for me. If that makes sense. Yeah, oh yeah. But like, I wasn't bored with it. Why? Why? Sometimes why, why, things yeah. are too real. Right. You know? why, yeah. Why, when it's so close to something that you're experiencing, why? Why? Watch it's not it? escapism. Yeah. It's not no, escapism. Right. It's That's not exactly escapism. it. I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh, not getting fuck. away from what is 
happening mm-hmm. in- yeah I'm like oh the rich people rule everything mm-hmm. i don't like this mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's just too close um so yeah it's not a bad movie i don't hate it, it it's just not for me so that's why i'm not going to recommend it but i i it's not a hard pass because i feel like a lot of people would like this movie if that makes sense what would i do on purge night um, I may track down the person that hit Sean and I on Friday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're you're going to Frank grill it up with I'm that gonna, Yeah, because I'm still in pain from that car accident. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, realistically, I'd probably just be hungered down somewhere because that's terrifying. Yeah. Um, I would like to steal money, but mm-hmm. I just don't think it'd be worth it because mm-hmm. it's really scary. Mm-hmm. Colin, what would you think? Um, <clears throat> this is a second watch on The Purge Anarchy. Uh, the first time through, I didn't remember anything about it. I was watching it tonight. I'm like, I, don't, I remember. I think that might be a problem with all of the movies. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I remember. Yeah, you're right. Because I was uh, like, I remember The Purge, but I don't remember the mechanics of the plot. It's yep. more like I remember how it starts and how it ends, you know, which I think was basically what this one uh, left with me with mm-hmm. it's like okay I remember Frank Grillo's in it you know like I don't know they uh, it doesn't seem like it's there's no characters here it's just you know and it's not executed well enough to be like a video game kind of thing where you got to get like through the mm. the city and here's all the crazy shit that'll go on. This doesn't feel Resident Evil to you? Resident no. Evil it's too no. flimsy for that. Like, I there's think not enough uh, here. the closest analog movie wise, I think I brought it up. It was Judgment Night, but I like Judgment Night like much more than this. But it's the same kind of thing. It's like you're, you know, your car breaks down and you got to make or the Warriors, you know, the Warriors, or something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, the Odyssey through the city that's uh, a war zone. Um, yeah, I was going to go, like, do I, any of the performances, the acting? I mean, like, they're just, you know, there to run and uh, make exclamations about the plot to keep it moving. The action's nothing really to write home about. I guess I'm saying, like, and you know the other thing? It's uh, uh, handheld and dark. Yep. And that was very off-putting. Uh, so yeah, I guess I did not like the purge anarchy. Do I think it's the best of the two or three purge movies that I've seen? I don't know. The the third one, I just remember feeling redundant after Mm -hmm. seeing this one. The first one, I grant you, you know, there was kind of like that sense while watching it where you're like, but what wouldn't what's going on out there be Mm -hmm. a more interesting movie. I understand for budget constraints, why they did it. Uh, as a home invasion movie, but um, and then you get it in this one, and it's like, yeah, okay. Uh, no, I guess I don't know. I'm I didn't hate it. It was just kind of soulless. Samesies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I would pass on the Purge Anarchy. I mean, I guess there's honestly none of them that I've seen that that I would recommend. Mm-hmm. Sean, what do you think? Yeah, I think the inherent problem with these is that the ideas outside of the movie you're getting are far more interesting than what they necessarily mm-hmm. present to you on screen because it can get redundant because we get it. It's a night where all crime is legal and we're just uh, no matter what twist you put on it, it still all comes down to that. And it's uh, a moral question. It always ends up being a moral question between the characters. It's like, would you kill people? Why would you participate in this? Like, uh, and I've only seen two of them, but I can. I can guess how the other ones go. Um, I don't have a necessarily a problem with them. I mean, not a problem. I don't know. Uh, like we said, the, the two of the characters, like, I don't give a shit about the, the couple. Just like it, mm-hmm. it, the characters are not great in this movie. And if it it's not something, you know, we, we've seen stuff like this before. Uh, uh, Frank Grillo, uh, you know, he, he's on a mission, but he's got, a, you know, his heart. Uh, he's got a heart of gold and he can't help but help these people. And, you know, uh, eventually uh, he'll get to the end and they will convince him because he helped them. They will convince him not to do the bad thing to keep his character good because you want to feel good at the end of these movies. Because he's just been through some shit for you know an hour and a half, um, and I can't imagine you know the other movies being so different from this formula that they have. So <sighs> to recommend the movie, uh, it's yeah, I think it's way better than the first one, which I don't particularly like, um, and it makes me interested even if it will be redundant. I want to see Election Night or whatever it is, the other Frank Grillo mm-hmm. one, if it's a prequel and everything, just because I think that was the first movie that I was like. 
I knew the purges existed, but the election night was the one I was just like, uh, saw a lot of trailers for. Mm -hmm. That's the one I knew Frank Grillo was in. I didn't necessarily know he was in this one. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, the ideas around it are far more interesting. And maybe I recommend the movie just because of the conversation you can have around it. Because it brings up interesting ideas, and I do like those conversations about, you know, <laughs> what would you do during the purge? I would be hunkered down somewhere because I don't, it, there's too much risk to go out and do anything. I would love to go, like, <laughs> steal money and just be like, this is mine. Yeah. But, like, the, 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 you end up dead. At a certain, no, I would just be hunkered down and I would not uh, be in this. Cause just, and it no. kind of seems like people prepare for the purge. So it's like stealing would be really hard. Because I think yeah. pe- I think people are prepared for this. Yeah, right? like everything. Right, you would end up like if you were a bank, you would have extra security for purge night. And they say like, they moved the money. Like, right, and they yeah, right. Yeah. They, they moved all the money out so of this. So it's like, what would you steal? Right, it'd at be a, pointless. At a certain yeah. point, I think everyone prepares for every situation in the purge, and then you just end up with murdering if you're out on the street. And so, and then that becomes like just a like okay, that's the idea, and that becomes you know boring at a certain point. Um, so. I don't know. That's a tough one. Um, I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna recommend it just because of kind of the ideas around this movie. It's I wasn't offended by the movie. Like you know, it's fine, fine movie, um, and not something you like necessarily haven't seen before. But I'll recommend it just because just it's it's interesting to think about this stuff. I don't know. It's 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 this whole purge thing is just a weird. It's a whole weird thing and the ups and downs. I'm sure. Um, I'm I'm interested to see where they go with it, but maybe not enough to sit down and watch the the rest of the movies. I don't know. It's a whole weird franchise, but I'll recommend this one just because it's, it's at this point still interesting. Yeah, there you go, Michaela, take us home. I think that what makes the concept so interesting is that you can graft so many types of stories yeah. onto this. You could make like a, a political thriller. You yep. could make like a noir movie. You could make a heist movie. You could like there's you, you could, could do so many different. Pers- yeah, there's idea. so many. T- and I think unfortunately, like it's one of those movies where your imagination is probably better than what you're going to get in the movie. And yeah. I don't understand what James DeMonico's problem is with making these things like just so mediocre. Like they're not bad. They're just very middling and very yeah. average and that's frustrating because can you imagine Soderbergh made an ocean yeah movie like that's what I'm saying like there's <laughs> like literally like a st- you know we should have a thing where like all directors every year it's a rotating thing this director gets to make a purge movie this year and they have to do their spin on a purge movie like it's like uh like you know like a flat stanley kind of thing okay your turn to make the purge movie this year how are you but gonna Steven do Spielberg it makes how you gonna do it del toro he, he has you know to this year. yeah exactly it would be an interesting yeah. idea yeah it's like you legally have God. to make a purge, purge movie yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> yeah oh my the God. who does the worst dies yeah if, okay <laughs> maybe too far too far i'm sorry if you're in the fucking union, you're on the purge roulette, and you got to make your purge. Right? Yeah, oh, exactly. that's okay. that's, you want right? You want yeah. people to be? Uh, you, uh, you want you're, people to get back yeah. to the theaters? Do this. You're part yeah. of the guild. I was the purge I would see Steven Spielberg's the purge. <laughs> Too bad, Wes Anderson. You got to make a purge movie this Wes year. Anderson's Have fun. Oh my god, I yeah, love you know, it. like uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. throw them out this there. People would come. Yeah, <laughs> um. If I was in the purge, I would be spending the entire year leading up to the purge learning how to become a computer hacker, and I am hacking into every bank system and giving myself money, and I am wiping out everyone's debt. Fuck the banks. There's no more student loan debt. Yeah. There's no more credit card debt. Yes. There's no more fucking mortgage loans. You all own your houses. I am learning how to, spending my entire year learning how to be a, a cyber hacker so I can do it from the safety of my own home. <laughs> and, then, and then I am spending the money that I get on bolstering up my house to make it right. purge safe. Excellent. Walls. Yes, uh, and that That's is great. my job is one hundred percent becoming a vigilante computer hacker because then I can I can uh, like supplement myself, steal from the rich, Robin Hood that shit, but not put myself at risk. So that is what I am doing. During what are we talking about? You're gonna be a bog witch. Yeah. You're gonna be out there somewhere. <laughs> no one's gonna. Even I still have a Wi-Fi connection in the bog. You know, I can still. Oh, you're not giving up the Wi-Fi. No, in the no, bog? no, no. I'm still oh, having the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Maybe, okay. maybe like satellite. Yeah, you know, if I have. She's got around. her hotspot. She's yeah, good. exactly. So right, you, right, you still gotta watch Vanderpump yeah. Rules. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Okay, I still okay. gotta watch. Yeah, I keep up on my reality TV out in the bog still. But like, that's. But there's a movie here. Have like a fucking hackers type movie or like a swordfish type movie during the purge. You know, the stakes are really high because what if you didn't hide your IP address and now next purge are coming for you? You know, like there's stuff here, but it's frustrating that James DeMonico does the most surface level approach to these movies. So I, I, this is the best of them, which is 
a bummer to say, but it is. So I'm not going to recommend it because like if if you, you the purge concept has not interested you by now, like you you get it. You get it without <laughs> having to see it. So mm. it's not necessary. So I'm going to pass on it. All right, yeah. so that's, but I uh, felt like it needed one, to be talked about. Yeah, you know, I was, I was one, say, it's a one, yeah, one, yes. four, and three against yeah. the purge. For the sake of conversation, yes. I recommend this movie. <laughs> All right, so uh, next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. Yeah, yeah is that right? Yes. All right, I'll, yeah. am I re- regressing back to not knowing who's? Yeah, yes, you <laughs> are. Colin. What are we watching uh, next week? Well, we're 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 in November, and it's the, the month of giving thanks and yes. those oh, no. offerings that are made, and we're going to make offerings to maybe. Old gods, deep, deep old gods. We're going to watch Stuart Gordon's Dagon. Oh, okay. we're watching Dagon. Wow. Okay. I don't know okay. about this. I'm this excited. Is, I've heard you and Travis talk about this for years. Okay. All right. All right. So it's H.P. Lovecraft's Shadow yeah. Over right. Innsmouth. Okay. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.